Hey there everybody, this is Don Evans from WatchReport.com and today I'm going to be showing you the Notice Trieste. Uh, this is a, another new micro brand. This is their first model. A uh, lot to talk about here because there's a bunch of options uh, with this model and price points, but let me try and get into it. It is a 41 millimeter case, 49 millimeter lug to lug, about 13.3 millimeter stick. 20 millimeter lug width you're getting a sapphire crystal and a sapphire bezel insert there are two different versions though um actually well there's three variants and two uh movement versions so there is one that would be the seiko automatic nh35 and that will run you 350 dollars there is also what this one is uh, for review, which is the Swiss STP 1-11 movement, and that will run you $500. Now, this, it might be hard to tell here because of the way the lighting is bouncing off that sapphire insert. This is actually the blue bezel version. There is also a black bezel version and a red bezel version, and they all come with the black dial. So let me give you a walk around look here at the case. You can see you have that nice coin edge bezel, a nice brush case here. You do have drilled lugs, nice beveled edges here. Nothing here on the crown side, no over branding anywhere, which is always nice to see, at least from my personal perspective. You do have applied markers. Now this is the no date version. That's another option I forgot to mention. There are also date versions available. So you have three different bezel colors to choose from, date or no date options, and then two different movement uh, options there. Um, it can get a little confusing, but uh, I'm sure if you're on the website and you know what you're looking for, um, it shouldn't be a problem nice very 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 nice ratcheting bezel here doing that with my left hand actually um, and it's not a problem it's grippy it's tight but it's not too tight um, but there's no play uh, back and forth play with it at all which is always nice here is a look at the case back not that super fancy here just uh you know an etching here on the case back and your pertinent information uh, of course, this is a dive watch. It has a screw down crown. It is 200 meters water resistant. Now, this, as you see, I have it on a gray uh, canvas strap. Now, this strap is from Notice Watches. Okay, uh, there we go. There's the uh, there's the buckle. Now, you'll see pictures on the website of this on a bracelet. That bracelet comes with the package. I also have pictures of the little pine box that it comes in and everything on the website in the full review. As always, click the eye in the upper right hand part of the screen to take you over to the full review. Um, one of the things I like to try and do with um, the video uh, or, or the video and the written review is try and give you a little bit different in each spot so I like to try and concentrate on something else in a video and, and something else or elaborate more in the written and uh, so you're not having to see the same thing over and over and so I decided to just leave it on the um, the canvas strap I actually didn't bring out the bracelet before I started doing the video but I have like 25 pictures of it on the bracelet um, and it's a pretty it's a very standard oyster link bracelet that uses uh, screws uh, to hold it together uh, one-sided screws so it's easy to side so j very similar to many 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 other uh, micro brands that you've seen and I'm not saying that in, in a negative way um, but it's a pretty standard fair bracelet now um, wow I forgot again there's another option to add to the fold because I forgot there were PVD versions of this watch as well so you have two different case finishes, three different bezel colors, two different movements, and a date and a no date option. So that's what's going on here with the Notice Trieste. Now, the PVD versions do not come with a bracelet. They come with a choice of a NATO strap, or excuse me, a canvas strap, and then like a NATO style uh, strap. And then 
the stainless version here comes stock with the bracelet but these uh either by the time you're watching this review or very shortly after these straps um will be uh, an option that you could purchase separately um whether you're buying the stainless version and you'd like to have a canvas strap or if you're wanting to buy an extra for the pvd version i do not know what the price point is going to be but i had them send me um there uh, there is a the gray one here and there's a navy blue one i think there might be another just like a standard black color but i can't remember offhand um it is a you know that soft new buck backing it is not a full uh rolled canvas strap or anything but it is a decent enough uh canvas strap here of course the camera doesn't want to focus now just but there we go it is a pretty nice canvas strap and uh, I like canvas straps. I like leather straps, uh, usually more than bracelets. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is it does have the quick uh, release pins here as well. So if you had, uh, you know, one or two of these straps, you know, and you, or well, obviously you'd have to have more than one, but uh, you can quick change them out. So let me show you a shot on my seven and a half inch wrist. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this strap is a little bit on the short side here so i'll show that to you so if you take a look there okay i'm in the second hole and actually yep hold on one second i actually put that on too tight uh, for my wrist i'm actually here in uh, the second hole i was up one so or the third hole so this is the only amount of room i have left on my seven and a half inch wrist so if your wrist is bigger than mine uh going you know kind of going to be an issue you might still be able to get it on if it's a little bigger than mine but then you're going to have problems uh, you're not going to be able to put the keepers over uh, the tail sticking out so just keep that in mind let me wipe that off here a little bit there we go so there's a look on my seven and a half inch wrist you know 41 by 49 millimeters this is a size that you know most people are going to be able to wear very comfortably um it, it, you know obviously if you like very large watches this is not going to work but for most you know it, it, it's in the middle there it's not super small it's not super large at 41 millimeters and the lug to lug you know sh you should probably be able to fit this probably at least you know down to a six and a half six inch wrist i'm guessing um and it'd still be pretty comfortable so i think they have those bases covered there all right so there is a look at the notice trieste for more click the eye in the upper right hand part of the screen it will take you over to watchreport.com as always leave a like or a comment here on youtube please subscribe to our youtube channel if you are not you will never miss another review follow us on social media we are on facebook twitter and instagram this has been don evans for watchreport.com i'll see you guys on the next video thank you very much